I could sleep better. I text my doctor. She did her day long thing. You feel what I'm saying? I have implants. Oh, thank you, my name. You're welcome. I'm in the mall right now. Psychotic. Discomfort. I put tampons here. I study on what we do the whole drill. If I have to manage it all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the belly button. Yeah, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah. That thing is so scary. Danny did a good job. She just lotioned me. Now we gotta change the belly button gauze. Petroleum, a petrolatum dressing. Okay, so I'm cleaning the tweezers before I use it. This by itself is already sterile. Okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna just use this. This just feels so terrible. Okay. Now I'm just looking at it. Oh. I think this is long compared to what I just pulled out. So, uh, 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 I already told me to. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, it was really pushy, pushy, pushy. You were just pushing it so much as it ain't. Oh, you can't fold it into two. Really? Uh -huh. yeah. oh, so gross. Can you hold that, that tube? Oh, it's so nasty. It doesn't hurt? No, it just feels weird. Uh -huh. Let me do it in, like, individual. Cause, oh, okay. Yeah, very A. Uh, This room. Wait. Wait. Mm -mm, this feels weird. I don't know how she pushed it. She just pushed it in so fast. My pull the, oh. the tube. Uh -huh. She just pushed it in so fast. Yo, yo. It is day three. And I feel really good. I mean, I tell you, getting up from the bed is painful. Getting up from a chair is painful. It's like the body goes into this rest. And then when you got to get up, it stretches a little bit, even though I'm hunched. But, oh, this is my spray deodorant. Hey, I sprayed it very haphazardly, so now it's made a mark. Oh, God. And I put tampons here because this strap is my meow meow, my pinching me. So, excuse me, not tampons, I put pads there because it was pinching me. Today I have my second post-op massage because they were closed yesterday. Today's Saturday, it's day three. And I feel good, I'm moving a whole lot easier. I was supposed to go down on my garment, but yo, Oh, you can see my butt when I turn around. It's going to crack. Oh my god. I was supposed to go down on my garment, but yo, man. This thing is mad tight. Let me give it a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? And my liquid is getting lighter. It's getting lighter red, which is a great sign. And I'm getting less and less output, which is a great sign. I took off my lymphatic, hey, my compression socks yesterday. I'm going to put them back on today. And I oh, I forgot that I was supposed to be doing the antibiotic. Oh my God. So I started back on that yesterday. Shoot. I did it day one and I forgot. I was rotating the Norco and the diazepam, the muscle relaxer. And I looked and I was like, oh my God, I was supposed to be doing that. Whatever. The most pain is from the light bulb, I have to say. If you were to just get light bulb 360 and not a tummy tuck, that's the pain, yo. That's the pain. When I touch my back, or when I go to sit back, I do it so slowly, the back hurts. It's so sore. But just look at it. It's so smooth. It is so smooth, yo. And uh, my breasts still look good. I love how they are. I love that they look like I have implants when I don't. And the tape will come off by itself. We'll leave that. The shower went well. It was quite a feat. My mom lotioning me really helped. She's the best. I told her, man, she's the best mom in the whole world. I, I can't I can't live without her. And yeah, so I'm a little hunched, but not really. Like you'll see videos where folks are like this. 
And that's not me. I can comfortably go to right here. Comfortably. I'm not pulling myself nothing. I'm just comfortably here. And I'm walking faster. Not not like forcing it, just walking faster. And yeah, I'm not taking a full deep breath because everything's so tight, but you know, short breaths. I feel great. My armpits are sore. So lifting is like, ooh. But you know, I still lift. I got some soreness, swelling, I mean, under my armpits, which will go down, obviously, because she did like with armpits, honey. Dr. Sato, she did her she did her day on thing, you feel what I'm saying? And me not having the tummy anymore makes me look a lot smaller than I did before. The tummy was making things look psychotic. You feel me? I have energy. I feel good. I love that my legs aren't affected. So the mobility of my legs are fine, you know. So I brushed my teeth, rinsed my face, did my skincare again, sprayed my hair with a leave-in conditioner, and my back is itchy though. Not with not where the lipo is per se. Just like itches. My fluids have gone down, so I'm at like 10, what 15, 10, 15, 10. One time it was 5, 5, uh, 10, 25, 25, 15. But I am very, very happy. I can say that sometimes I'm like, oh, I just want to be out of this tight freaking garment already. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of feeling yoked up. <laughs> but it's the process, and I obviously have to go through the process. So, both the 10 pack massages, and I will definitely be doing massages once I do my 10 pack. I plan on doing massages like once every two weeks, once a month, just because, just for life. Because lymphatic drainage is a good thing to do anyway. And then of course, to maintain my results. The back hurts because one, obviously the lipo, and then secondly, there's a tube in my lower back. So I really cannot wait to get these tubes out. I'm sure it'll give me a little more comfort. You feel what I'm saying? It's mm. nice. Good. Thank you. What you know about now? What you say? What you know? I know what we say. Ah. You can have them with the other one. Let me empty these two now. I just want something to do. Staying home is just too quiet and boring. So I'll go to my massage and then go we'll walk around the mall a little bit. Take my time walk around. I got energy and I praise God for that, so gotta use it. I'm gonna just be freaking laying in the bed like a patient. Number one is in my back. Mr. Hmm. Trip, yeah, it feels like it's literally sucking. Like you do this and you pull it down. I can literally feel it sucking the fluid out of my back. Let's see how it's going down. Right. Oh. Oh hell no. I'm stopping. Oh. Oh. That stripping hurts. Cause think of it like it's like this and then you're squeezing something out of the tube. When you do that, it's squeezing on purpose. It hurts like hell. Okay. And then this number one, number two, is in my stomach. Because I can tell when I strip it where the pain hurts. So, when I strip this one, it's usually not too bad. But I can feel it though. And you strip to make sure that there are no blood clots, no clumps blocking the passageway. Yeah, the front don't hurt bad. The front don't hurt bad. All right. 
There we go. Oh, I mean, I could have stripped it and then checked it, but here we are. Whatever. What did I say? 10 and 20. Shoot. What did I say? 10 and 20. Either way, it's below 25. Praise the Lord. 10 and 20. Zip myself up like this. You don't know what I want around here. Wash my hands. Now I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Now I gotta do a little tinkle. Too much going on. You know I got on fragrance. So I'm wearing by the fireplace replica. You know, so. Hi. Now, I'm about to be outside looking like Seely. Should I put a hat on? Hey. Wow, look at you. Uh huh, that's how you do it, Daddy. It looks nice. Is it comfortable? Oh, yeah. Let me, show, heavy, so. let me show the people. It's so good on you. Oh, thank you. It's the Fendi for me. Hi. Love it. Very subtle. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Who in your bud? Yeah. That's it. Thank you. The nursing aide also needs to be looking <laughs> nice. Unsa. Unsa. You know, a little bit. Mm. That's so nice. Welcome. These are the wipes I was telling you about. I hope I'm gonna just do my hoodie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I have time for hairstyles. I know. I don't have time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Alrighty. Bye bye. Ooh. Oh my god. The well, massage wasn't too bad, but. I mean, it is painful. Here's the thing. Whenever I say not too bad, you got to factor in the fact that I have a high pain tolerance. There were some parts that did hurt. That's a, that's a fact. But, like, do I never want to come again? No. She said I'm doing so good for being three days post stop to day three. And even I was the one, mainly the one putting on my garment, and she was so shocked. She said she was so surprised, like... I look good for being three days. Yeah. Let me get my head inside here. Mm -hmm. And then even when I was putting on my garment, she was so shocked. Wow. Uh, anyway. <laughs> hey, what's she doing? Yeah. Say cool, didn't you mean? Because I'm going to touch your skin. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a pregnant lady, nine months. I know. We cry your worst. Where's the nine month pregnant lady, Shay? Sure. Okay. My alarm, my my medicine went off. That's why you want to take it now? Yeah. Set, do I set? Yeah. Yeah, simple. Nah, <laughs> come right now. Better than my father. <laughs> hey, how can I get you all? <laughs> <sighs> Lord have mercy. Now I know to eat before I come. Hmm. So I don't get dizzy, she said. Uh -huh. Which makes sense, so. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure no fasting before I get here. Wait, let me get my medicine. Oh, I don't so good. And that girl said, too, you grab Oh, yeah, because, because when she came, she rolled on her knees. She wasn't sitting down. So Ooh. she's got a BBL. Mom and her. Someone's coming to get their massage, too. And she has on a robe. So, I know, yeah. We don't have time to be dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, 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 that's why when she was riding the car, she was on her knees. She wasn't sitting. When? Yeah. Yeah, you can't sit down. Oh, God. Oh, do you feel Yeah, 
all my park here, you know, I saw that there was a woman on her knees. And I'm thinking, maybe she's getting something in the back. No, no, she wasn't sitting down. You can't sit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll try. You can't sit down for like two months or something like that. I don't know. Mind you, it's day three. We're in the mall right now. I need the exercise and I'm tired of being at home. Granny's dragging me to the mall. <laughs> See what we're going to find. I'm doing well walking. So, here we go. All right, Ma found a pendant for her necklace. We're at Macy's right now. I wonder who's paying for this. <laughs> what card are you taking out? No, I have to act on it. Let me use my card. I want the uh, oh, okay. I want the points. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, Ma, you're not serious. Sign. Man, sign, they. So pretty. Okay. But it's not coming off. I sleep. She with wears it, it every day. Uh, every day. Sleep All with day it, and take night. shower with it, everything. <laughs> Same thing on my earrings. I don't take them off. I take them off only to change it. Yeah. So much. Really? Let me see. Beautiful. Oh. I do like it. Oh, thank you, my name. You're welcome, Mama. Thank you. Missing miles, Sonia says sixty six thousand. Ah, it's a second hundred dollars. I'm not made a mouse, eh? Sixty six nine seventy. It's a car kind of sixty seven. Who drew seventy and never mind? He just says that's four thousand for four thousand more miles. I told mom that when I paid a car off, I'll give her the white BMW. Seventy five thousand. Seventy five thousand miles. That's like one more year. Okay, that's that's good enough. Good enough to give you this car. Yeah, I just got it. Uh, Mekasa, Minko Street, right? Uh, which Minko Street? Yeah, why's not serious? Mekasa, who? I told her when I paid a car off, I'll give this one to her, but come on now. Well, I gotta enjoy a little bit. Fast. Hey. You said you can't even do it now. I can't well, even do it now, yeah, what but. What are you waiting for? Where am I going with <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I can't laugh. What, wait, if I pay it off now, what kind of car am I gonna get? <laughs> Just put in a request for a phone call, Cartier, because oh, I want to order my birthday present. Are you able to? Yes, I want to order my birthday present. And I also wanted, I wanted to make an appointment. But then I just thought I would chat. Cause what if I get there and the size I need is not there? I mean, I do think I need, I don't know. I wonder if they'll just come to my house. Imagine they come bring a whole bunch, try it on here and then just sell it to me here. That'd be so great. Can you imagine? Saving the time. Oh. Yo, I have not used the restroom <laughs> in days. <laughs> I really need to go. That Miralax was pinching, pinching, pinching me and nothing happened. So I'm like, what the heck? And I hate that feeling of that pinching foolishness. So I'm supposed to get a phone call any time from now from Ray from Cartier. So let's see what Ray gonna say to the key. You know? Ronaldo. 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 There's actually three things that I want to buy. Because they have complimentary delivery. Although I would love to go in, but if I don't have to, I don't need to. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Hello. Yes, hello. May I speak with? Yes, this is her. Hi, how are you? This is Ray Cartier giving you a call. We were just on chat a moment ago. Yes, I'm doing well. Thanks for calling so quickly. How may I assist? And let me see if these items are currently available so we can take care of them, okay? The love bracelet's small. The love bracelet's small. I'm also looking for the juice to enclose the small. I believe there's a small and a large, correct? Right? That's the thing, yeah, because I want it to hang a little but not be too tight. My right, my right wrist is bigger than my left so I, like i i don't know i imagine a night like an 18 but i'm not exactly sure uh-huh absolutely um 
So it's a Taylor state measure, is that correct? Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. Um, on one side should be inches, on the opposite side should be centimeters. Yep. This will allow you uh, a good way to size your wrist. You're going to want to make sure that it's an exact measurement as opposed to a tight measurement. So just measuring it the exact way and then uh, providing me with that uh, information and I can up. Okay, so let's see. This is the, which side should I be using? Uh, the centimeter size. Okay. Okay. So you would, in fact, um, either be an 18 or a 19, depending on the, on the fit that you can join. Yeah. And then if you just include, you're going to size one down. But they, they'll also advise that if you teach when you're there. Got it. Okay. Okay. What about making an appointment? Let me do that so that we can just be there. Yeah, I'm going to just go in store because I want to love it right away. And although I hate going to stores, this is something that just needs to fit. And if it needs to fit, I just need to be there. Besides, my mom and I both have big hands, so I need to know which finger she's putting it on and, you know, what the fit going to be. And then for me, how it's going to hang. So, yeah, I'm going to go next week and do that. Fix my hair nicely because these uh, silly twists ain't going to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <sighs> oh good morning. <laughs> It is day four. Mainly I'm just so sleepy. I'm sleepy and I'm tired and I can't sleep well because how the hell do you sleep well for three hours? Because every three hours is some sort of medicine. One or two nights I did go past my alarm, like today. I just snoozed it or turned it off and then I got up at 5.45 and just took my medicine and antibiotic, my hydrocodone and antibiotic. I'm mainly sleepy and I just broke a nail trying to open up the camera. So do I. There we go. I'm mainly sleepy and the pain is when I get up from the bed and lay down in the bed. There's pain in my back at one of the liposuction sites. So today, actually, when I go for my massage, I need to put something there. Like, I'm gonna bring a pad and put it there to cover it. Cause I don't know if it's rubbing or what, but that is freaking hurts. And then when I change, I'm so tired of these tubes. The liquid color is light and it's not as much. I am just, wish I could sleep better. And then of course I can't take a deep breath because my stomach is so tight. And the garment is so tight, so sometimes I feel winded. Today I'm gonna spend more time sitting down at the dining table again because the laying down is annoying. It's annoying. And like I said, laying down and getting up is painful. Mainly in that 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 lipo and sit that lipo, yeah, that lipo plays right here, man. It hurts. But laying down and getting up from my, from my abs, not bad. So they're healing for sure. And then I keep on feeling this tingling in my body. <laughs> and obviously the skin is healing. What else? I feel hot right now. I gotta go turn the heat down. It's freaking hot, yo. Oh, oh my period is, is winding down. Thank God. Having a period in this surgery is terrible, man. You don't know if it's cramps. Oh, the freaking incision hurting you is hell. So there's that. And I need to move my bottles. I haven't done that. So I took Miralax the other day. That shit was hurting me. It was, like I told you, it was making my stomach like, like this. And I hate that feeling. And yes, I have been drinking water and all that. Oh, man, that, that, oh, that pinching hurt. Then I got my period. So it was just a mix of God help me. So, I feel like I should do more relax today, although I hate the idea because of the way it was making me pinch. <sighs> but I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's four days without going to the bathroom. Maybe that'll help my stomach feel better too, but I don't know. 
Okay, so I'm about to brush my teeth right now. Oh, and I was I was opening PR boxes yesterday and everything. <laughs> you know me, I don't just gotta clean the sink. You know, I just sit around. I can't just sit around. But I am tired because I'm sleepy. You know, I'm freaking sleepy. Oh, the massages. <laughs> They freaking some parts of it hurt. It hurts when she gets to my freaking lipo areas. Yo, the lipo areas hurt. But I can see the swelling going down. And thankfully, I don't have leg swelling. My hand still hurts a little bit from the IV. I mean, it was bruised. So it's the bruise. I'm hot. Shit, I'm hot. Who was hot in this house? What? Oh no. I gotta, I'm just trying to fan on. Hey, you fan of running me Someone took the fan. Okay. Yo, and then passing gas is like, uh, it's a slow thing. <laughs> Yo, so I have repositioned myself now. To the chair in my room. <laughs> and I, this thing did come in handy. Not on the bed per se, but on the chair, heck yeah. I have at the top of the chair. Not behind my back, obviously. Which is better at the top. And behind my back I have a pillow. So I bought the stool and I'm lifting up. I'm using the stool as a footrest. Uh -huh. I'm using the stool as a footrest right now. And now this is my new station. <laughs> Changes. <clears throat> station. I've told you how challenging it is to cough. I've gotten a few coughs out. Which have really been helpful because what will happen is... <clears throat> <clears throat> like now. <clears throat> you know, you got some phlegm you got to just get out. Can't even get it out. Ugh. But yeah, this is comfortable. I just feel so tight. I just wish I didn't have to wear this garment, but I mean, I understand why I have to. But the discomfort from all of the tightness is annoying. So I look forward to my massage today and every day because that's when the garment comes off. Like, oh yes, please take this damn thing off. So I look forward to that. I cannot find my earpods for the life of me, yo. I had it the other day. I can't find them. And a lot of the stuff in this house is white. So not being able to find the earpods don't help because my case is white. And what I think is that, and then I, I could have sworn I had it attached to find my iPhone. Well, it's not. So I cannot locate my freaking AirPods. Dumb. I'm so irritated. I'm about to order a new one. I need my AirPods. I use them every single day and they connect to everything. I do have these Beats that I bought during Prime Day. I don't use them. I bought them because they're so cute. I figured I would use them in the gym. I don't use them. They're mad cute though. They're the black and the gold. I'm here. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why am I so tired? I know I just had surgery four days ago. I get that. But I have a lot more energy than anyone else would. So I feel like it's the medicine, yo. The medicine is making me. The diazepam for sure makes me like, oh my god, let me sit down. The hydrocodone, I'm about to Google it because. That is what I just took this morning, and I still feel like I'm gonna lay down. And <clears throat> since I'm feeling that, like, since I'm feeling so well, I'm tempted to, which I can, go down to Tylenol instead of the hydrocodone. Because the hydrocodone it is acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, but it's a higher dose of Tylenol, obvi, right? Let's see googling this right now and i may not use the diazepam hell i might just put that at night time let's see can slow or stop your breathing what the hell 
Oh, and laughing is a challenge. I'd be like, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Like, what? And I'm feeling tingly. I'm feeling my skin healing. Tingly. My incision doesn't hurt. FYI. It doesn't hurt. It's it's everything else. It's lipo. The lipo freaking hurts. Uh, let's see. Don't crush or break it. Okay. Can be habit forming. Thank God. I don't feel addicted to it. I have a headache too. And I'm thinking, why do I still have a headache with hydrocodone? Y'all don't, that don't take, y'all, y'all hydrocodone, y'all don't take care of headaches? Ah, take my headache away now. I mean, this hydrocodone, uh, it seems pretty serious. <laughs> what? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I did take it this morning. And like I said, I am feeling good. Better than the usual. Better than anyone would have ever imagined. This thing is so strong. And like I said, my abs feel like my stomach feels fine. It's just I need to go to the bathroom. And my friggin' lipo incisions. Those are the parts that hurt. So here's what I'm going to do. The next time I have my Norco listed, I'm just going to take the antibiotic because I obviously have to take that. And then I'm just going to do the diazepam and see how I feel. I'm gonna do that because if I don't need it, I don't. It's been four days, right? It's not by force. And I'm listening to my body. And if I can just tolerate, what you call it, Tylenol, then I'm gonna just do my whole Tylenol. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know that they said take it as needed. It ain't just, it ain't take the whole daggone Norco until it finishes. If I don't need it, I don't need it. <clears throat> and I don't want to be on something strong and habit forming if I don't need to. But yeah, I'm just mostly tired of being tired. I'm tired of being tired. So I wonder if not being on the Norco and stuff will just help me feel less. Ugh. So that's my motivation for stopping it. Pain is okay. <laughs> the pain is pain. I'll tell you that. Oh my God. Yesterday, that girl that was going to get her massage. <laughs> I can't imagine how she was feeling, yo. What? She rolled up on her knees in the front seat of the car, like, yo. Shorty was not able to sit down. You hear me? I can't imagine getting a BBL. Whoa. I, I, I can't imagine any of it, and here I am, right? <laughs> but just the thought of not being able to die. Mm -mm. And the leaking comes from the BBL. I ain't had no leaking one time. When she massaged me, that was the first massage the day after the surgery. I thought I ain't got no leaking going on, so that leaking come from y'all. <laughs> that leaking come from y'all people. That ain't me. Whoa, my God. Okay. Let's see what's on the internet and stuff. Because I also want to read and edit, and I just be feeling like I don't even have the energy to do that. I feel like it's the medicine, yo. Gotta get this crap out of my body. But I, yo, know, God is good, man. I tell you, I, I'm just so grateful that my body can tolerate a lot. My mind can tolerate a lot. And that I've done this. I'm just so grateful that I've done this for myself. And when I see myself naked when we do the massage, oh, it's just like, it's, I just feel so happy. Even bandaged and all, it's like, yo. We in it, you feel me? I got all my outfits ready, like, I cannot wait. And again, I did this for me. I never want to strip this tube again. Jesus. When you strip it, trying to get everything out of the tube, the tissue and stuff so that it doesn't clot and block. When you strip it, it's a, su a suction. So you strip it, when you let it go, it sucks from where the tube is in the body. Jay. God, the worst is the back. It's sucking from that back to Jesus, in the name of God, the way it burns and hurts. I don't want to strip this thing anymore. I hope they open tomorrow. I'm going to call them, yo. Take these tubes out. I can't be stripping anymore. Wow, it hurts. That joint hurts. Yo, this is what these celebrities be doing. Even these social media, anybody, anybody, anybody. Anybody be doing hell? This is what I just now did. It's painful, Ankasa. It's painful, Ankasa. If you're wondering, the whole entire thing is painful. The whole thing is painful. But I'm a strong woman. I get that from my mom. So I can do whatever I put my mind to do. 
Nadia, is it crooked? I hate crooked stuff. But uh, is it painful? No. Jai. <laughs> the whole thing is a, is a 11 out of 10 pain, okay? I'll let you know right now. But is it worth it? Absolutely. Everything worth it is going to be a challenge. So if you're wondering, get ready to be in pain. Period. Although, like I said, right now I feel good. I just need to use the bathroom. My stomach is hurting me because of the period, you know, all that nonsense. I'm just ready not to be tight anymore. I'm just ready not to feel so yoked up anymore. I'm ready not to feel like I have on a tight, a tight corset. You feel me? It's like you just have on this real freaking tight corset all the time. The breasts feel fine. Fine. Every now and then I feel a tingle. So I know that it's healing. They look phenomenal. Ooh. They look fantastic. Ah, mm, mm, mm. I never knew a breast lift without implant would look so good. Jai, mm, mm. they just look so amazing, and they're swollen. I would like them to stay at their swollen state. <laughs> I like the size. I'm a D. You feel me? So I like the way they look. You know what I'm saying? Very, very happy about that. All right, I got my coffee. I got my water. Not me wanting my drains out so badly. Uh -huh. So, turns out, I text my doctor. Turns out my output needs to be under 25 cc's total. So not just per, per time that I check it, but total. So if I check it three times in a day and it's 15, 15, 15, yeah, it's under 25, but the total needs to be under 25 in order for me to take it out. It has to be under 25 for two days straight. So I'm not there yet. I'm almost there. And the, the fluid is getting clear. But then she said, so I thought that my salt restriction started now, which I've been doing, which is fine. But the salt restriction starts when I take the drain out. So she said, when I take the drain out for 14 days, no salt, no seasoning. Otherwise, that's where the inflammation comes in, the bloating, the, the uh, water retention. And it can cause a seroma. I mean, a seroma is what? What's a seroma? Seroma is the Look, I knew what this was, but I forgot. Seroma. Collection of fluid that builds up under the skin surface. Uh -huh. So fluid build up. Yeah. Pocket of fluid. Now, I am going to be doing my massages. Definitely when the tubes come out because like I don't want any fluid build up period but I definitely don't want a seroma. Go ahead it's my massage. I'm bundled up more today because I was suffering for no reason the other day. So I'm wearing the same thing though because what's the point of changing? I only wear this to go outside and here we go. Hi. Good morning. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You okay today? I'm feeling better, yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad. My drains are better too, it's going down. Oh. Yeah, and the color is light, you'll see. It's like yeah. light brown. Good. Yeah. So, doing a lot better. Do you have other people coming today? Only you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. No, no problem. Are you sure? But So I missed Saturday because of the rain, excuse me, Friday because of the rain. And she said, first of all, she was impressed by how I looked day two. And I told you that the doctor was as well. Thankfully, even the doctor said, everybody's body is different. And the distance between, what did she say? <clears throat> the distance between your ribs and your hips, something, determines how small your waist can be. And because of the way my body is composed, I have a really small waist. So even without the surgery, I had a real small waist, which I've always loved. You know, you it's important to know what your best body parts are, and my waist is certainly one of them. So we just knew that it was gonna be a snatched situation. So even though the the esthetician was like, Wow, you look great, even day one. <clears throat> I did the massage, didn't come Friday, came Saturday, and she said she could so today I'm always asking questions. But today she said she could tell yesterday that there was more fluid than there was today. So she noticed that there's a difference when I skip a day. So I did purchase a 10 pack of massages and it was $8.90. And I plan on going every single day 
and I already have them scheduled. They're 15 minutes long. And we get fully naked for her to do it because she gets up on the back so you can't wear the bra. And oh my goodness. <laughs> The massages are painful, you feel me? So I will make faces like, oh, like that and stuff. And I'll tell her like, ah, the only problem is this, this, excuse me, lipo incision right here on my left, bottom left, pause me, oh. Other than that, it's okay. My hips, my waist, excuse me, not the hips, my waist area is most painful. And she is gentle, but you still feel it because she got to get up in there and move the fluid down. The, my stomach has definitely gone down since yesterday. I'm going to ask her tomorrow if I can show the massage, but obviously not show her. I'll ask her so I can show you a bit of what she's doing because it'll be her. She'll be the one that I'm with each time, but I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm glad I'm doing it each day. Man, first few days I leave there feeling like, oh my god. Then I left there feeling fine. You know, I did have a protein shoot before I went, so I wasn't completely fasting when I went. She did say to eat beforehand because it <laughs> can make you feel lightheaded doing that lymphatic massage. And she did say that the most ideal situation is to do the massages for three months. So I like going to her, and she's really nice, and I ask lots of questions. And yeah, my swelling is not as much as I thought it would be, which is great. My C-section, I keep calling it C-section, my tummy tuck incision doesn't bother me. My stomach doesn't bother me as much as it used to. So I'm I'm literally contracting my abs as I get in and out of the car and the bed. I mean, I'm not contracting it by itself, but you do need to contract your abs to get up even, right? So while doing it, it doesn't hurt me nearly as much as it did day one and day two. So that is what I would, in my opinion, healing. It's the lipo that freaking hurts, yo. So, people who just do lipo, wow. I mean, wow. So, yeah, we did put the pad in the bottom left because I said that was bothering me. The stitches or whatever, it's just rubbing. It's just, ooh, taking me off. That feels way better. So, putting that pad there helped. No leakage today. I just leaked day one a little bit from one of the, one of the holes, but... It was one of the holes where the tube was. It was, a, it was a light bulb hole where the tube was, but I have not leaked since since then. And my fluid output is still low. So yeah, I'm not going to take it out quite yet. We'll see how the week goes. I also did say to move my arms and things because the armpit does hurt from the light bulb. You know, I feel like a nine month old pregnant woman who feels like they can't even take a deep breath, or it feels like there's no space in your stomach to breathe. That's what it feels like. The stomach is pulled down, but when they when the garment comes off at at therapy, uh, massage, oh, I feel so much better. Left drain is light, right drain is darker, red. Either way, it's all good. Unclip, ooh, I felt that. <laughs> Something just like, Finished. Putting that pad back there has made a world of a difference. That thing is not bothering me like it used to. Ugh. All right. Open it up. Air goes in. And then eyeball. There it is. Okay. That's 25. Hot water. And I'm supposed to strip it, but I don't feel like being in agony right now. Tell me when the strip freaking hurts. It just sucks. It sucks more out and it hurts so badly. So, you know, people that aren't even doing a drain with their surgery, I can't, I can't imagine all this stuff just, all this fluid just in the body. Like, what? Crazy. Okay, so that was 25. And this one obviously opened. You know, that happens. So, this one approximately, well, like 20. Please. Don't rinse the, the what you call it, because it could contaminate the jingle jiggy. 
so you don't rinse it at all whatsoever I am however gonna just wipe this and wash this towel it's my body fluid anyway <sighs> after I closed it okay and then I rehook and see this one oh look <laughs> this one is draining some more fluid this second one is in my back so it's actually draining fluid right now oh Yo. Oh Lord, I look forward to the day that I can sleep well. Because sleeping like two hours at a time, it's exhausting, you know? It's very exhausting. I feel tired. Oh, and I have not had any medicine in a while. So I have not had any medicine since this morning, early morning. And that was what? Oh no. We'll do the muscle relaxer to help me stay asleep. <laughs> Will that work? I don't know. <laughs> and then I just, oh, and of course I'm doing my, my antibiotic. Yo, <laughs> it's day five of recovery and I just woke up. I mean, I woke up in the middle of the night to do my usual, you know, bathroom medicine. But I just woke up for the day and Ooh, I gotta turn the heat up. It's cold here. So I did my best to not take hydrocodone so much yesterday. In fact, I just took it, let's see, one time in the morning and never again until the evening. And I was okay. You know, even though the therapy, the uh, massage was painful, I was okay. I decided to do the dad's pan in the nighttime to go to bed. And that was fine. I still did get up at 1.30 to go to the bathroom. And then that was that on that. I cannot <laughs> forego the hydrocodone entirely right now, at least. I could have done Tylenol, but I was like, is it going to be strong enough? Because again, my main issue is my back. Not back pain from being hunched over, because I'm not terribly hunched over. It's back pain from the lipo. So I decided, let's just stick with the hydrocodone. What's the big deal? It's the vast pain that makes me go to sleep. So. That's the one I'm just going to take at nighttime, not during the day. So during the day, I'm just going to do the hydrocodone and my antibiotics every six hours. So that's what I ended up deciding. I did do a little experiment yesterday. Oh, and my fluid. My fluid is turning golden. It looks golden. Well, golden brown instead of so red. God, I'm going to get this pan. Hold on. And my abs don't hurt at all. They just feel extremely tight. I can squeeze them to pass gas to whatever and they don't hurt they just feel very tight my armpits hurt from the lipo and the back <sighs> and i can't take a full deep breath because this garment is tight and my stomach is tight okay so today's drain 25 on the left 15 on the right 7 50 a.m so there you go for my drains today I feel good. I feel fine. I'm gonna shower. <laughs> the only thing is putting in that that thing in my belly button. It just feels so strange and like so gross. But I just want to shower and be free. Yes, I can use those body wipes, but psst, yo, there's nothing like feeling the water on your body. You know, there's nothing like just the water just flowing down on the kid you feel me and now i'm like i wish i had done something to my hair like for overall i i mean i did wash it and twist it i literally could put my that that device that i used in my vlog one time to flat iron my hair i really could do that to my hair the question is do i want to i can sit and do it i might because i'm sick and tired of seeing my hair in these twists now <laughs> i'm just over it so that's that right now uh, then I, okay, so if I shower, I'm going to put on my new garment and then let this wash. And but then I got to take the garment off again at the therapy place. So then I was like, should I just take my wipes? And then when before I put on my garment, they wipe up. It's just like too many things. Oh, there's no refund. Okay, fine. I told you before that I purchased a lower size down. So right now I'm wearing a double XL garment. And the nurse on Thursday was like, you can go down. I'm like, excuse me. 
I do believe her. Not only that, I need to wash this. It's been five days. Like, give me a break, right? I smell B.O. in my armpits. <clears throat> Although I've been wiping, we all know how when an odor gets inside a fabric, the fabric itself just needs to be cleaned. So I'm going to take this off so that it can be washed and then I'll let it lay flat dry. So that's that. And this is the XL. So I have to put on the XL. Ugh. And then I also purchased more lipo foam, which is so strange. I'm seeing videos. People ain't wearing no lipo foam. What y'all doing? Yo, people doing all kind of remixes. I really don't know. But I pray Jehovah that I'm doing the right thing. We need this foam. What you mean? Mm -mm. And then you cut it to how you need it to be. You feel me? But I feel like I'm going to just leave the three like this. They come in this size. I feel like I'm going to leave it like that. You feel me? So let's see. How that's going to work out. And I'm going to shower right now. So this is my second shower. I showered for the first time on Friday. And I'm going to shower again today, Monday. And I really do want to shower every day. The doctor gave me these things, these petrolatum dressings to put inside my belly button. <laughs> I'm going to get some more of either of these or she, she recommended something else from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those because I can't lie. I want to shower every day. I'm just sick of that. As you know me. You know me if you've been here for a while. You know I like to be fresh. And I will just take my time and just shower because I don't like all this. You know, I want to lotion my skin each day. I want to just, you know what I'm saying? Come on. And normally I'll shower twice a day. But you know what? I want to just get my morning shower going. You feel me? So we're going to be doing that. Opening up this XL so that it's ready. And when I come out, oh, this is going to be so tight. And then here's the thing. I'm going to take it off for my appointment today at 1030 for the massage. You feel me? And the showers ain't very long. because I'd be tired. Whew. Like even right now I'm standing here. I'm like, ooh, I could sit down. <laughs> you know, I could use a little sitting down. Okay. This is going to be just squeezing my thighs. I know that. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> With the butt area. Ooh, I feel a tingle in my tummy. It's healing. And then the whole situation. The hooks are on the inside and then it zips. That's how this one is, you feel me? All right, so we're gonna put this over here. And when it comes time to put this on, I'm obviously gonna have some help. Let me go sit down. I'm gonna sit down for a second. You know, maybe get a protein shake in my body before I continue all of this because I just took the bed sheets off my bed so that I could wash my sheets and with all this <clears throat> movement I'm not quite ready to go shower just yet you just feel it in your body where you're like I need to sit down and I took hydrocodone so why do I have a headache like don't you plan on helping me out don't you plan on not don't you plan on Alleviating, alleviating, alleviating the headache? What the hell? <laughs> Yesterday I had a headache too. I'm like, isn't I just go to the pink pain reliever? Why isn't it taking away the pain in my head? I don't. Mm -hmm. You don't work on the head. Oh, you don't. You only work on the body. How can there be certain pain relievers that only work on certain parts of the body? You're working on the whole entire body. Excuse me. Take away the headache. In the name of Jesus, thank you. I thank you for your time, your effort. So, and I also purchased. <sighs> These individual sterile alcohol wipes, which are fantastic because I used my tweezers to take out the tissue from my belly button and then insert the other one, that petrolatum hot wine. So I wanted to clean it, obviously, make it sterile. Duh. I'm going to wash my compression socks as well when I take this off and then wash this like it's been two days. Come on, right? Duh. And... Yeah, I don't even feel like I need these compression socks, you feel me? My legs have not been getting swollen, you feel me? I've been doing really well. You feel me? I really have. I can't wait to lotion with something that smells so good. And I contacted Cartier because I really want to just go in today. That rhymed. I really just want to go in today <clears throat> and get my jewelry and come back and sit down. So, did I say that my... I said my liquid was gold today. The fluid, the liquid, the fluid was gold today, day five. And this is how I look inside my garment. Of course, I'm a lot smaller underneath all of this. 
So yeah, we're about to go down. Yeah, look how loose this is. They consider this to be loose. So we're about to go down on this garment. It's about to be mm -hmm. mad freaking tight. <sighs> it's already so tight you can barely take a deep breath in. How much more? How much more when I go down? The lady's like, you can even do an L. I said, excuse me? An L? My waist is going to be like this. Is that what you want? She's so funny. She's sweet. She's from Venezuela. So she and I speak a little one, two, one, two. I do the best I can. And then she be doing the best she can. You know, I do really appreciate folks who do the best they can to speak my language, the English language. Because that ain't their language. So she's struggling to t talk to me. But she, I, I don't understand her. You know, she never one, two, one, two. You put it together. You just figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You figure it out. You feel me? <sighs> okay. We can go sit down in a second. A lot of chat going on right now. <laughs> That's what I call it, chit chat. A lot of chit chat going on. Ooh, you know what lotion I cannot wait to wear? Look at me, preparing myself for my lotion. Let me go, let me go bring it, let me show you. Oh, I have Fenty's new lotion. It's so sparkle, sparkle. And with surgery, you know, the bullet wounds and stuff, bullet holes. I ain't trying to put those sparkles on the bullet holes, honey, so. Here's it, babe. I so look forward to smelling like Joe Malone and Tonka. Let's talk about it. This smells so freaking good. And I just want to smell good, right? Like when I go to therapy, I take a bath. Hi. The massages I call it therapy. When I go get when I go get massages, I take a bath. Not bath per se, but you get it. I call it bath. It's a shower. You you understand. There's too much explanation. Too much you know what? In fact, there's so much explanation, I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I'm having to explain so much right now. That's giving me a headache. So I'm gonna go sit down. 